What's up guys? Guess where I am? Ta-da! I'm in Dar es Salaam in Tanzania! This is the Tazara Railway, also known as the Tanzania Zambia Railway. And this is a perfect example of the brotherhood between China and Tanzania. Some people think that the cozy relationship between China and African nations is just because of the rich, big, rising China buying up African nations with money. But that's completely not true. Because this close relationship between China and African nations started decades ago when China itself was still an underdeveloped country, a very poor country. Even though China itself was very poor, it still invested what it could offer in African nations to help them defeat imperialists and stand on their own feet. In this episode, I'm gonna take a ride of this railway and tell you all the history about it. So let's go! The construction of the Tazara Railway started in 1970, and the train was put into operation in 1975. So far, it's still China's largest foreign aid program. The railway is 1,860 kilometers long and connects Tanzania in East Africa to Zambia in South Central Africa. So this is the office of the Tanzara Railway. So we'll come to the hall, you will see the portraits of the three founding fathers of the three countries. Over there, that's Zambia's beloved Kenneth Kawinda. In the center is our Chinese chairman Mao Zedong. And over here is Tanzania's Julius Kambalage Nerere. It was also these three leaders that initiated this groundbreaking project. In the 1960s, Zambia was a copper-rich country, but to bring that copper out, they had to rely on ports in Mozambique to its east, Angola to its west, and South Africa to its south. However, after it gained independence in October 1964, Zambia couldn't use them anymore because the Portuguese colonists and other parties blocked Zambia's access. They needed a railway. But the United Kingdom, the United States, Soviet Union, and several other countries all declined to help. The World Bank refused to give loans. So China stepped in, providing all-round support, from exploration and design to construction and interest-free loans. 1962年2月,坦桑尼亚总统尼雷尔访华,毛泽东在与尼雷尔总统会谈时说,你们有困难,我们也有困难。但是你们的困难和我们的不同，我们宁可自己不修铁路，也要帮你们修建这条铁路。When I was about to take this train, I met a group of soccer players who are going to compete in Zambia. Oh wow! How many of you? Yes, yeah, seventeen. Yeah. All go to Zambia to play. Yes. Yeah. Oh wow! You're all from here. Yeah. We're from Tanzania. Okay. Let's say to the camera like yeah. one, two, three. Hello, right? One, two, three. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. And your name is? Ah, uh, 我叫金莫泰。叫什么？金莫泰。金莫泰。对。You studied in China before? 对对。Wow, really? We. Sanyuan,宁波大学。he used to study in China. He speaks yeah. some Chinese. My experience in China was really good, and uh, it's been long. I haven't seen uh, some Chinese friends of mine down here. But <laughs> when I came and I met you people, I really felt happy. We have that friendship. Chinese people like Tanzanian people. When yeah. you go there, the only problem we had is the language, but we understand each other. How do you feel about this Tanzania Zambia railway? Uh, it's a very nice uh, railway and experience since it was here for a long time by the help of the Chinese government to Tanzania that they get to strengthen their relationship. It has helped us uh, in uh, means of transportation, mostly uh, getting to travel from one nation to another. As you can see, a lot of business people, a lot of people commuting from one place to another, they get to travel with their our luggage and products and everything because the train or the rail it takes a lot of people. At first we had the challenge of uh, 
transportation. We only had the buses, but now we get to have the train, mm -hmm. which is comfortable and nice to use. This is the company behind many key infrastructures in East Africa, the China Civil Engineering Construction Corporation. Formerly, they were known as the Foreign Aid Department of China's Ministry of Railways. They have been staying in East Africa ever since they started constructing the Tanzania-Zambia Railway. Tanzania Tanantin So today I came to this cemetery to pay tribute to them. This expert, Jin Cheng Wei, he passed away at a very young age. He was born in 1951, passed away in 1973. When he passed away, he was only 22 years old, very young. This expert, name is Liu Guangfu. He was born in 1946 and passed away in 1971, almost the first year of building the railway. And He's male from Sichuan province, Sichuan Leshan County. He's one of the workers that, you know, blow blow up the mountains, like doing the explosion of the mountains, so they can dig a tunnel in the mountains for the railways. And he passed away during the explosion. Many of them passed away in their 20s, 30s, 40s, very young age. And when you look at the stones, when you see the year they passed away, you know most of them passed away almost in the first few years of building these railways. Each tomb is a person, is an expert doing a remarkable job and passed away in another country. Each tomb is a story that cannot be forgotten. Do you like this train? Yes, I like it. She said that the train helps them very much. Ah. Yes. To be easier to go to town, coming back home on ah. time. Although this railway is deeply loved by locals, we can't help but notice the trains are getting rusty and old. Times. Oh wow! Do you think it's convenient? Yes, sometimes it's convenient, but sometimes uh, we don't feel comfortable because of the too like crowded. The, yes, too crowded. How do you like this train? I like it because it's cheaper. 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 You see, the problems are very old now. <laughs> there are some new ones. Are you bring some new ones? Ah, we will try. We will try to bring some new ones. Are you from China? Yes, I'm from China. Yeah. Luckily, an upgrade plan is underway. Now, the Chinese government's 
第一步呢，对它既有的一些线路进行一些升级改造、嗯、翻新，再购买一些机车呀，嗯、或者是车辆。这种第二部分就是在整个铁路运输的这个过程中，我们准备在坦森铁路的沿线拓展我们的货源。那之前主要是为了运输赞比亚铜矿，另外除了赞比亚之外，到那个钢管金那边，看看有没有什么货可以从这边走。第三个想法就是在这条铁路的沿线，我们建一些这工业园、工业区，通过这条铁路带动的整个沿线的经济的一些城市啊、一些地区的一些发展。另外一方面呢，这些经济园区。也可以增长我们这个坦森铁路这个运量，然后促进它形成一个良性循环的一个局面。对坦森铁路激活这件事情，我们是非常的期待啊，<笑>也一定能做好这件事情。This train connected people from China to the entire African continent. More infrastructure projects like railways, roads, ports, and drinking water systems are underway in Africa as more countries are joining the Belt and Road Initiative. Similar infrastructure helped people in China get out of poverty. They will help people in Africa too. <laughs>